Hi guys, Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. We're back for another tactics episode and in this episode we're looking at some tactics that I've created for Newcastle. If this is the first time you're watching one of these tactics videos, I've got a playlist in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. And yeah, you can have a look at some of the other tactics videos that I've created. So, having a look at this Newcastle team... Um, I'm really, really not happy with their defence um, and that, that's an area, if I was to manage Newcastle, that'd be one of the first areas I'd be looking um, to improve, um, really, especially their left and right backs. I think they, they do need something a little bit extra. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of... They're, they're a pretty decent team, obviously, Newcastle, but I certainly do think that they could be improved quite a lot. Um so yeah, we'll have a look at these tactics anyway. So yeah, Tim Crawling goal. Um, I've gone for quite a kind of boring back for, for if you like, like kind of just making them not really do a lot and um, just kind of holding on to the ball. Um, yeah, nothing's kind of too extravagant with the um, sort of defence. So I've gone for Jan Mats as a fullback on the right-hand side, Colaccini as the central defender on the right-hand side, Stephen Taylor as the limited defender, just on the stopper roll, just so that he can, you know, look to win the ball back. And then, you know, Colaccini's kind of more, um, you know, of the kind of more intelligent player, if you like. So yeah, he's going to be trying to get the ball and kind of do a little bit more with it, really, um, rather than Taylor. Um, and then I've gone for um, Hadara um, as the fullback on the on the left hand side. Now, with these players both being fullbacks, the thinking behind that is, as you can see, it's quite a you know this tactic that I've set up here is kind of a bit of a kind of arrow. So it's it's all about the middle, really. So these fullbacks will need to kind of help a little bit, if you like, with um, sort of some of the attacking um, moves that Newcastle are going to be creating. Um, and you, you may notice that I've got Toyote um, in that ball winning midfielder position, which is absolutely perfect for him. I've got him on the defensive kind of um, duty just to make sure that he's holding his position. So, yeah, the full backs um, will be allowed to kind of push forward a little bit on, with this tactic, which is great. Um, and I think something that this tactic will kind of need, if you like, um, just to make sure it's success it's a successful one. Um, so yeah, I've mentioned Toyote in the middle. I've gone for Colback, um, just in, as a central midfielder, just, you know, getting the ball, um, you know, kind of working really, um, just keeping the ball, nothing too fancy. Really, again, the same with Sissoko. So Sissoko is a really kind of powerful player with um, really, really good, um, yeah, sort of like engine, if you like, like good work rate, um, good strength, things like that. So yeah, I've got him as the box the box midfielder um so yeah the, the idea with kind of cold backs is Oko and toyota they'll be the ones that are kind of um you know holding their position maybe the full backs can kind of push on a little bit further than both of them too um i've gone for cabela um in the center of the park now cabela's got to be the most kind of creative player in the whole of this um kind of thing that we're or kind of tactic that we're creating here with newcastle um, so yeah, Cabela will you know be the person that's gonna make sure things are happening and that things are sort of ticking along nicely. You'll see that I've got Papi Cisse up top on his own just in the poacher role. And now his role will basically be to you know hold the line at the top, just you know wait for that through ball to come through from Cabela or De Jong, and um, yeah, just basically to look look to get on the end of it now. If this formation had a target man, what I'd probably do is have the two fullbacks, um, or at least one of them, as a complete wing back, just so they can push forward a little bit more. But with um, Papa Cisse just being a kind of poacher, um, I think it's really important just to kind of hold the line because with the poacher um, kind of role, you're not, you know, the ball's not going to be held up kind of too much. So. Um, what I try to do with Cisse, he's not going to be holding the ball up that much, but De Jong, um, I'm looking for him to kind of like hold the ball up um, as well as um, Cab Cabela in the middle of the park as well. So um, yeah, De Jong and Cabela have got a really, really important role to play in this team and they're going to be the ones that are going to be looking to get Cisse in on goal. Um, obviously with support from Sissoko and, and Colback kind of in the middle, just making sure um, that they're allowed to 
you know, kind of be involved in attacking positions when it's needed and make sure that they're quite solid defensively as well. Um, Newcastle just making sure that we're not conceding too many goals. So it's kind of a formation that's quite good in the way that it's quite solid at the back. Um, but then on the flip side, when Newcastle are attacking, it will allow, um, you know, quite a lot of the players to be involved um, with Toyota, um, Taylor and Colaccini just holding the back line and everyone else sort of getting involved as and when needed so you'll see for the mentality for this um, tactic I've gone for control and the team shape as structured now I do want this tactic to be quite kind of like rigid um, we'll have a real quick look at the team instructions that I've set up for this team okay so yeah having a look at the um, instructions for Newcastle we can see here that I've set it up to for them to retain possession pass in space um, and to close down more now the thing that I'm thinking with the possession with Newcastle is yeah they've got the kind of defensive midfielder um, they've got Cabela who needs to be holding on to the ball um, what I'm thinking the back four can basically hold on to the possession um, you know and we're going to be looking for Toyota to be in space we're going to be looking for Cabela to be in space as well as De Jong and probably Papasisa as well up top on his own so yeah passing into space is going to be really really key um, for this um, you know tactic that we've got here for Newcastle um, and yeah just making sure that we're you know being in the right positions at the right time so we can kind of make attacking moves happen so with that as well um, with Papa C so obviously he's quite a tall guy um, but because I've got him on the poacher um, yeah kind of roll and De Jong as well just as a like support striker and um, the idea is that I'm going to be like crossing it low as well to them guys just so they can um, get on the end of the ball um, you know with their feet and just make make things happen like if as I mentioned earlier if Newcastle did have a good target man what I would be doing is probably putting in like whipped crosses um, just for you know some of the other players to like kind of get on the end of the ball but I think having low crosses will allow Cissé to get into really good positions as well as the passing into space you know Cissé is going to be in good positions De Jong in good positions um, so yeah them two players can get on on the end of the low crosses and the fact that we are trying to retain possession and pass into space it should mean that the players are like holding on to the ball a little bit longer um, and you know they're going to be kind of like bind, bind in their time to put them low crosses in um, and yeah hopefully them players should find themselves in in space and yeah they should be able to get on the end of um, you know any balls that are put into the area and um, so yeah that's the end of uh, my walkthrough of this Newcastle tactic um, as you can see it's quite a kind of rigid um, you know formation for Newcastle but one I hope if you're if you are playing as Newcastle I hope you'll um, yeah kind of find this handy um, all the things I've kind of described in this video as to why I've set this tactic up as I have um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video you can take a look at some of our other tactics videos and the playlist for these is in the description so yeah if you want to see some more tactics videos just have a look at that and yeah hopefully you'll find some um, tactics for a team that you're managing or at least find some help uh, when you're looking to create your tactics so yeah thanks for watching this one guys do um, hit that subscribe button and um, again that's all in the uh, uh, sorry in the description on YouTube to um, subscribe to the channel and yeah we'll be back very soon for some more videos